Hi guys, today let's take a look at how to defend the chair seat back take, okay? Which is one of the most common ways to take the back or even recover the back. What's the chair seat first? Maybe on the mount position, the guy tries to escape with an elbow escape, he starts turning to his side, and I'm turned into this technical mount, right? If I can get my seat belt on him, or sometimes my Kimura grip, Right, that's the chair seat position where I'm gonna sit down, pull the guy on top, and then I go out to the other side to take his back. You know, there is a simple way to defend this if you time it well, right? So see that if I wanna go and execute this chair seat, I wanna have my hip really close to, high on his torso, close to his shoulders. So when I sit up, I can posture up, picking him up with my arms in this leg, the knee that's on the ground generates the power to lift myself up and go all the way to the other side. If I'm low, if my hip is not closer to his shoulders and I try to pick him up, he's too heavy, right? I'm not aligned. Once I'm here, I can raise my torso, picking my, his body with my whole body here, right? If I'm down low by his hip, my arms are disconnected from my body. I try to pick him up, he's too heavy. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Once he takes my back here, or he has the mount, I just have to time it and move myself all the way up. All right? I'm gonna step my foot here as it goes for the chair seat. I shoot myself up, disconnecting from the guy. Right? And then if he tries to come on top, of course, I'm gonna start turning into him and get either half guard or escaping the mount. Sometimes when he executes the chair seat, his leg is trapped in between my legs. And for example, in the case when I'm escaping the back here, if I'm trapping his top leg, once he does the chair seat and I shoot myself up, I'm gonna land in half guard. Right, once he comes on top, I free this arm and we already have the half guard here. 